A trial is underway for the Massachusetts mother accused of murder and the deaths of two of her children. Erica Murray was charged after police found three dead babies among trash and squalor inside her Blackstone, Massachusetts home back in 2014. Today, a judge heard opening statements and testimony from several witnesses in Murray's murder trial. Iowa News News reporter Kim Kalunian was there at Worcester Superior Court and joins us now with the latest developments. Well, there is no jury for Erica Murray. It is a judge who will decide her fate. The prosecutors say she caused the deaths of two of her children, but the defense says she was mentally ill. We do want to warn you, the facts of this case laid out in court today are disturbing. Prosecutors say it was a tale of children living in two worlds. The world of life versus the world of death. Now 35-year-old Erica Murray is facing murder and other charges after her arrest in 2014, the year a 911 call from a neighbor tipped police off to the squalid conditions inside Murray's Blackstone, Massachusetts home. Police say among the heaps of trash and dirty diapers, they discovered the bodies of three babies, one with the umbilical cord still attached, the other's skeletal remains wearing clothing and diapers. And then she saw that baby in distress. She did nothing to help that baby. Miss Murray acknowledged that one baby was born alive and told the police that it died shortly after through no cause of hers. Murray's defense attorney Keith Halpern says his client's mental illness was a factor. Her mental illness is not being brought into this case based on an argument that she lacked criminal responsibility, that she did things for which she was not criminally responsible. It's being brought into this case to explain what in fact she did and why. He argues Murray's surviving children are a compelling part of her defense, but assistant DA Christopher Hodgins says those surviving children prove his case. Erica Murray created two different worlds for her children world for the wanted and a world for the unwanted. And today we also heard from several witnesses, including the woman who made the initial 911 call to police. Testimony will resume tomorrow. In Worcester, I'm Kim Kalunian, Eyewitness News. The trial of a Blackstone woman is underway five years after investigators found a horrific scene in her home. Investigators uncover the remains of three babies leading to murder charges against Erica Murray. Eyewitness News reporter Kim Kalunian was in Worcester Superior Court today for opening statements and the first testimony from witnesses. Well, Erica Murray's defense attorney says her mental illness was a factor, but the prosecution is trying to prove that she caused the deaths of two of her children. We do want to warn you, the facts of this case are disturbing. 35-year-old Erica Murray in court Tuesday facing murder and other charges after her arrest in 2014, the year police found the bodies of three babies inside Murray's squalid Blackstone, Massachusetts home. The first witness called to the stand, Betsy Brown, a former neighbor and the woman who first alerted police. There was a smell that came. I immediately bent over and was trying to throw up, trying, gagging, dry heaving. My eyes were watering. I was just immediately sick physically ill. Police say among the heaps of trash and dirty diapers inside Murray's home, they discovered dead infants, one with the umbilical cord still attached, the other's skeletal remains wearing clothing and diapers. On the witness stand, Brown recalled the conditions of Murray's surviving children, an infant and a toddler who she says were neglected and covered in feces. The defense questioned Brown's recollection. Do you think that just the emotional trauma of what you went through helped create memories that didn't match reality. No, I do not. Also called to the witness stand, several members of the Blackstone Police Department who responded to Brown's 911 call that August day. They too described deplorable conditions inside Murray's home. And one of those officers testified that when officials told Murray they would be taking her children into state custody, she showed no visible reaction and asked if her cat had escaped from the home. Testimony will resume tomorrow. In Worcester, I'm Kim Kalunian, Eyewitness News.